Good morning students. Today we are going to see the second prose of this term. The topic is the wind on haunted hill. Now let's see the author introduction. This prose was written by the author Ruskin Bond. He was a famous Indian writer. He was born on 19 May 1934. He wrote more than 500 short stories essays and poems. Let's move into the lesson. The wind on haunted hill. Here haunted means to appear in a place regularly as a spirit or ghost. Students, let's see the characters of the story. In the story, there are five important characters. They are First character, Usha. She was 12 years old. She is the main character of the story. Second character, Suresh. Usha's brother, he was 8 years old. Third character, Vinya. Usha's friend. Fourth character, Usha's grandfather. And fifth character, Lakshmi, Usha's aunt. The story contains Three sections. Section 1. Usha goes for shopping. The owing wind blow from the Himalayas over the hills and trees. It passed the haunted hill and reached the village on the slope of the next hill. It tried to blow away the tin roofs, doors, windows, chimneys and clothes even on sunny days. Usha, her brother Suresh and her friend Vinya spread their clothes out to dry, firmly holding them by rocks. They rested a while there. Usha planned to go for weekly shopping. Vinya would not go with her. Suresh was willing but he had to help grandpa. He was worried about how she would return alone in the dark passing the haunted hill. Grandfather told a story about an English family which lived on the haunted hill a hundred years ago and the family members were killed by lightning. Grandfather had seen the two children of the family often playing in the moonlight near the ruins even now. This frightened them. Usha went for weekly shopping, passing the field, hill, ruins and valley. The ruined house had crumbling walls with wild flowers. A wild plum tree in the floor of the large hall, lizard on the stones and singing bird on the empty window. Usha bought soap, matches, Spices, sugar, pipe stem, exercise book, marbles and necklace at the bazaar. She went to Aunt Lakshmi's house for tea. And when the clouds gathered for rain, she hurried home after collecting her mother's slippers from the cobbler. Section 2 Storm on the Haunted Hill the clouds and thunder were threatening to rain. So Usha hurried to reach home before dark. She did not have an umbrella but only a shawl and a scarf. Now the raindrops came faster. It was dark and lightning. Usha ran to the ruins to take shelter from the heavy wind and rain. Her clothes and long black hair were soaked. The sound of the tin sheets and the storm blotted out all other sounds. The lightning and thunder were often. Usha remembered Grandpa's story about lightning killing the English family and prayed it would not strike her. 
Suddenly, when the lightning flashed again, Usha saw two small figures at the opposite wall near the disused fireplace. They could have been the children. Section 3 A Night at the Haunted Hill Usha wanted to leave the ruined building after seeing the two ghosty creatures. As she rushed out, she bumped on something and screamed. There were reply screams and it was of Suresh and Binya. They had come looking for Usha in the stormy night. They were surprised, relieved and happy. They decided not to go home in the dark, thunder, lightning and rainy night when the path also had fallen. Together they had warmth and confidence and stayed in the ruins all night till the morning. They left the ruins on the top of the hill. As the rain had stopped, birds began to sing, the sky was pink and bright and Suresh was hungry. As they were climbing down home, Usha saw a hand waving at them from the bro. Vinya said it was the sway of the plum tree, but Usha also heard voices on the wind saying goodbye. Usha wondered if it was just the wind. Students, I hope you all understood the story.